Fire magic is super simple to do if you allow yourself to become super creative. So right now I'm standing out in the sunlight. If you live somewhere where it's usually really, really cloudy, you're gonna have to wait for a really good day where just the sun is blasting. But when we sit down and we actually meditate with the sun, we're meditating with multiple different properties. And most people don't really know about these because they're not widely taught. But in shamanism and in energy work, these are like go-to things that you absolutely have to do when you want to bring in more fire, vitality, inspiration, creation, and just the ability to really enact your force, your power into reality. So When we meditate with the sun, what we're actually doing is we're absorbing a specific form of light, which is a very specific form of fire. We live in a holographic reality. So everything that you're looking at right now is basically made up of a different spectrum of light. That light, rather, that makes up the trees or the sky or even me is a light that is vibrating at a very specific speed. It has a very specific temperature. And that's why we have very specific images that cross with each other to give us the experience that we're having in our life. The sun helps us get more in tune with the light frequency of fire so that we can bend our metaphysical reality, our physical reality into what we want to create. So right now what you're doing is you're experiencing a hard materialized reality, which is what we're experiencing right now in this video. And simultaneously, you're in a metaphysical reality. So everything that's based off of energy that you can't immediately see is still a spectrum of light that's influencing what we're experiencing right now. When you meditate with the sun, not only do you get the opportunity to really learn how light works in your visuals field, in your energetic auras, and how it manipulates reality to manifest your desires and your dreams, but you start really using it to tap deeper into your spirit. So when you meditate with the sun, if you even consider the sun as your spirit, your spirit is shining down on you right now, and you have the opportunity to actually be basking in your spirit's light, in your spirit's power and you look at the sun not as a fireball or a celestial body or anything like that in deep space you look at it and you're like oh well that's my spirit i'm actually able to witness a materialized version of my spirit i'm going to connect with that spirit and i'm going to bring all the light into my body as much as possible and that's the meditation you want to do this meditation is absolutely powerful because after some time you're going to notice that you're able to manipulate the sun and what you're really doing is you're manipulating the light that is coming off of the sun and the light that's being emitted in your environment this is one of the first tricks that i really did learn when i started practicing like egyptian alchemy and i started practicing shamanism is manipulating the environment so i want you to take a deep breath and i want you to meditate with me all right If you're not able to stand in the sun, that is a-okay. Pause this video and then come back to it on a sunny day. But if you can definitely do it right now with me, let's just do it, okay? So take a deep breath and I want you to stand in the sunlight. (sighs) The first most important thing that you have to do is let go of the stressors and your expectations that you're going to be experiencing. A lot of times we're like, oh, well, I'm meditating with the sun and I want to be experiencing bending reality immediately. Remember, this is all about practice, okay? So take a deep breath. (sighs) I'm going to let go of my expectations. If something happens, cool. If something doesn't happen, that's still okay. I have no problem just being here and sitting in the light of my spirit. And as you do that, I want you to really just start paying attention to your body. Pay attention to if you have any tension anywhere, if you're thoughts are being drawn to a specific event right now I feel a little bit of tension in my legs so I'm going to try to relax as much as possible into my legs it's kind of really cold outside as well so you might not be able to see that one of the things I'll do is I'll grab my hands like this and I'm going to grab my ring finger all right and I'm just going to put my thumbs on my ring finger and as, you, as I did that, you might have noticed that the sun like got a little bit brighter. This is the sun mudra. Okay, so mudras are powerful hand signatures. These move energy through your body, through your consciousness. So this is a sun mudra. As I'm meditating, because I'm a little bit cold, I'm going to go ahead and hold this so it raises the temperature in my body. So this works without fail. 
be careful how you use this because sometimes you can get super, super, super overheated. There's two different ways you can do it. You can hold it like this, where you're just touching point to point, or you can do it like this, where you're holding the edges on the end of the knuckle. So I'm gonna hold it, continue to bask in the light, letting go of the tension. And right now, since I'm feeling cold and I'm holding this mudra, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose to let go of the cold. Cold does not exist here. There's nothing here but sunlight. I'm sitting here with my spirit. And get in the mood of talking to yourself when you're in these types of meditations. Sometimes people are like, I gotta find quiet in my meditation. That's not always true. What I'm doing with you right now is I'm connecting to the sun. I'm thinking about the sun. I'm thinking about the light. I'm thinking about the fact that we live in a holographic reality. And the closer I get to understanding just the celestial power of fire, which is the sun, I will be able to bend and manipulate my reality with ease. So take a deep breath. And if you can imagine a sun in your mind's eye, look at that sun. Remember, staring directly at the sun may not always be the best idea. It's not always great for your vision. So don't do anything that's going to harm your vision, but do what you can. Imagine what your body is doing right now as it absorbs that sunlight. Is your body feeling more powerful? Is your body feeling more alive? Is your body feeling better? <sighs> Are you feeling more motivated? Are you feeling more creative? Thank you, sun. Thank you, sun and all the solar spirits. Thank you to the energy of fire that is perpetually in every aspect of my life. Every day that I walk on this earth, I am walking in the basking light of my spirit. I am walking in the creative power of fire. I am beyond what I even comprehend to be light. And I accept to view and experience any light spectrum that is in alignment with my manifestations. I am ready to transcend. I am ready to progress. I am ready to embody. And so I am. I am the sun. I am fire. I am spirit. I am matter. I am light. And as you say these things and you connect with these things, you have to give your body. You're going to feel like there's tension every once in a while with your body. You have to give into that tension as you say these mantras. These are affirmations. A lot of times people are like, oh yeah, I'm creating affirmations of I am abundant. I am happy. When you want to create superpowers and you want to unlock sacred divine abilities in your reality, your affirmations have to be more than just your current wants. You have to become the thing that you're looking to embody. The sun allows me to really connect with my spirit, which then when I master my spirit, I can connect to other people's spirits, which allows me to become an amazing energy healer and shaman. I am the sun. I am the celestial body of the sun. And I connect to all solar spirits that are in alignment with my intention. I am all the powers of the sun. I am. I am. I am. And as I've been holding this mudra, I'm not feeling cold anymore. Even though like the, the sunlight is moving and it's out of the way a little bit, this is the type of meditation that you really want to get into on the regular. It's just doing some sunlight, especially when you live in specific areas too. So like one of the things that I personally have noticed traveling a lot around the world is that the sun and its light affects you differently depending on where you're at, obviously. So here in Michigan and Detroit, the sunlight is not always super, super intense, nor is it gonna be like super nourishing. But when I went to California, it was a different kind of sunlight. It was a sunlight that was like, 
wow, like I can grow from this. I almost felt like a plant that was being nourished by Mother Earth and Father Son and being able to just like extend my roots. When I was in Aruba, the intensity of the sun was so like, it was beyond anything I've ever experienced. It was like standing right next to the sun and that power brings in so much radiance. Remember, when you shine the spirit of your sun, okay? You, when you si shine that sun that exists inside of you because each one of us is a personal universe. So you have to acknowledge that you have stars, you have a sun, you have multiple suns inside of you. And each one of those suns creates the ego reality that you're creating. If you have a solar system inside of you and that solar system and that galaxy and that universe has all these different components that we already know exist out in the wild, right? Or out in deep space. Each star, every solar system, every orientation is just a different version of you. It's a different piece of information. The sun right now is holding a lot of information that you want to unlock. And a lot of times we're like, oh, well, I want to become super aware of my past lives and I want to do this. Well, this is how you do it. You do it with water. You do it with fire. You do it with earth. You do it with air. You do it with space. You do it with the ethers. It's been through meditations like this that I just shared with you, meditating with the power of the sun and the fire of the sun and embracing it and bringing it into my body and letting it flow through my body, reminding myself that there is no difference between me and the sun, reminding myself that I can do anything that the sun is and that I am as bright as the sun so I can manipulate my reality to create blessings for myself in the world. When I keep focusing on this, I've unlocked things from my past lives. Like remembering I was a pharaoh, remembering that I was an ascended master that came here to teach people how to become ascended. But I couldn't do that if I didn't allow myself to connect with nature. And a lot of times people are like, oh yeah, I want to know the fabric of reality, but you won't even connect to nature. How can you understand the fabric of reality, which is a nature, if you won't interact with the most immediate natures in front of you? Most people don't even think about meditating with the sun most people don't even think about absorbing the sun's energy it is energy every time you've gone to the beach and you've tanned you could have increased your meditations so much more you could have increased the amount of light that came into your body and it's th through this methodology that you bring in all that light you tell your body i'm going to hold on to that light and then you start accumulating more and more dense higher bright vibration that other people cannot ignore other people will see it and be like, I don't know what it is about you, but you're glowing. I don't know what it is about you, but I just love your aura. I don't know what it is about you, but when I'm next to you, I just, I just feel like I'm, I get it. You are the sun. The sun allows us to feel safe on a day-to-day -day basis for the most part. And it's at night the darkness where we feel afraid and we feel resistance and we feel like we don't really know what we're doing. But it's the understanding and the comprehension that everything is one. If the sun brings me clarity throughout the day and it makes me feel great and I feel like I can just figure it out, I want to be a sun incarnate for other people who are looking for that same kind of clarity that I experience every day when I'm actually absorbing nature. I hope this was helpful for you. Sending you all the love.